Mercedes-Benz unveiled the new E-Coupe. The new W213 generation E-Class platform has grown 4.4 inches between the axles, 4.8 inches in length, 2.9 inches in width, and 1.5 inches in height, thus placing the new mid-size two-door neatly between the C and S-Class coupes. The E-Coupe is offered in only one potency, badged E400, with a twin-turbocharged 3.0-liter V6 tune to provide a respectable 329 horsepower and 354 pounds FT of torque. Mated to Mercedes ubiquitous 9-speed automatic and a choice of rear or all-wheel drive, the engine proves plenty capable of motivating the car, but we find little inspiration in its character. The shift response of the 9-speed, even in sport mode, is more silken than snappy. That said, Mercedes claims that the all-wheel drive car can accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 5.2 seconds. The powertrain may be chill, but the chassis certainly is capable. For US buyers, coil springs with driver-adjustable dampers will come standard, but the car had the optional air body control air springs, which only amplify the plush dynamic quality by minimizing body motions and ironing out much of the road's texture. The Sport and Sport Plus driving modes for the chassis add satisfying weight to the steering and some tactility to the ride, and these combine with the steering's crisp initial turn and in linear response to allow for easy placement of the car, whether that's while clipping an apex, floating through a corner, or holding the center of a freeway lane. The E400 could use more steering feel, but what it lacks in engagement, it makes up on precision. The coupe market may be shrinking overall, but this car proves the body style remains very much alive at Mercedes-Benz.